It's a really glorious day today and the colours of the trees are really at their height and I don't think that I've seen so what I'm going to do first thing is I'm going to plant some bulbs and then I'm going to pack the dogs up into the car and go for a walk and go leaf spotting and I'll take my camera along So we're up here at the Bratland Falls, which is right on the other side of the Loch Lomond and Trossix National Park. And we're going to walk along the crags and through a wood and then to the waterfalls. And it's just spectacular. <laughs>
So back in my studio and I wanted to show you how to kind of bring some of that glory of the autumn leaves into your home because part of the thing that I am trying to do with people is to encourage them to really pay attention to the natural world and in many ways that is easier if you are bringing some of the things from outside into your own home. Now we're at a particular time in the year where the trees do this amazing thing, this colouring up thing, where all of the chlorophyll, the green kind of coating, the green bit of the leaves begins to disappear with the cold weather. And that reveals all of this glorious oranges and reds and yellows, all of which have different things to do in the plant. And the green sort of retreats, the other colours are revealed, and at the same time, there is a hormone called auxin, which begins to decline. And that is the bit that weakens the stem, the petiole of the leaves, so that it falls to the ground. But this means that if you can catch leaves when they have lost their chlorophyll, so are coloured up, but before they have lost their auxin, so the leaves are still attached, if you cut them at that point, the leaves stay attached to the twigs. And they will stay attached <laughs> for years and years. This one here that I have, which I brought down from my bedroom where it's sort of in a corner, is now, this is its third year. And you can see, yes, it's a bit dusty. It has faded, but you know, the leaves are still on it. And this is a one that I cut just a few weeks ago. And this was from the birch tree in front of my bedroom. And the leaves have crinkled up, as you can see, you can probably hear them. Um, but they've kept their color. And I'm going to use these in my Christmas wreath when I make that. So this is so simple that it hardly needs a tutorial, but I have cut some soft um, field maple leaves here. And you can see they have only, they're one of the last trees to um, color up here. And they're still kind of flushed with green, these. And all I'm going to do is to put these three twigs into a vase upright so that they don't get squashed and with no water. The no water is really important. If you put water in, the leaves will fall off. Um, so just put it there, put it somewhere airy where they can uh, dry, crisp up like these, but stay very much attached to their stems. They will darken over time. These, for example, are exactly the same leaves as these, but just two years older. Um, so you can see that they go into this kind of um, much more kind of rusty kind of look. So anyway, hopefully um, you'll feel inspired, go and chop some little bits off your hedging um, and save them from making Christmas wreaths next month. And if you're interested about learning more about trees and autumn leaves and activities that you can do with them, um, in the Studio Club, which is my online membership, um, there is a whole course about that and it takes you through lots of different trees and talks about how they grow and how to identify them. And there's also lots of sort of mini courses um, about maybe eco printing and natural dyeing and rubbings, that kind of thing. And that is all one of the core courses in the Studio Club. Studio Club costs 9 95 a month and it is a really 
affordable way of going through the year, um, bringing nature into your life and creativity. If you want to le to um, know more about that, um, you can get in touch with me at snapdragonjane at googlemail.com or I'm putting all of the links in the description underneath this. Thanks very much and I will see you in another video.